Hi, Misty Riders. <sighs> Welcome to Write a Killer Mystery, where we talk about making a good mystery. Great, I'm Zara Altair, Mystery Writer and Mystery Writing Course Creator. Today, I want to talk about how to expand your story idea because story ideas hit any time you in the middle of the night while you're driving your car it's just they come come in from outer space but a story idea doesn't make a novel so i wanted to talk about that today first i'd like to invite you to buy me a cup of coffee there's a link in the description below it's really easy to do and help support the video. It's a nice thank you for the information. Okay, so you have a story idea and now you want to expand it enough to be able to write an entire novel. Um, you need to think about your story before you start writing. Um, because there's a lot that goes in into it and if you follow a process you'll find it pretty easy to get from story idea to a plan that works that helps you write your novel um if you've wa been watching any of these videos you know that i believe that planning helps you write faster okay so the first thing you want to do is get organized get all your ideas down because an idea floating around in your head um doesn't go anywhere uh, memory is fallible so write those ideas down and if you have any other bits and pieces that go along with your story idea um write those down as well writing a novel is a process and before you leap in and start writing, um, you want to have a good grasp of your story idea. So one of the easiest things to do when you get that story idea is to start with a short sentence summary. This, 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 this. Um, uh, it's like a touch tone target for your story. And I actually find when you write these sentences, um, they help when you're right in the middle of writing and you go actually back to this beginning sentence and go, how is what I'm writing right now getting me to the end point of my story? Okay, I'm leaping ahead of myself, but your one sen sentence story will help you focus your creative efforts during the time you plan and write your story and knowing what your story is about will keep you on track when the inevitable rabbit holes pop up and the missing links and the missing pieces. Even if you don't figure out your storyline until after you write your first draft, it can be a powerful tool to help you cut out the non-essentials when you get to editing and revisions. And I think this is especially true for first time um, novel writers, it's easy to get diverted off into um, and tracks and just this one sentence storyline helps you focus. So how do you do this? You frame your story in a sentence like this. In a setting, a protagonist has a problem caused by an antagonist and faces conflict as they try to achieve a goal. So before you start your sentence, uh, you want to have each element of that sentence in place clear and clear in your head. So what is the setting? Who's the protagonist? What's the problem? Who's the antagonist? What is the big conflict? And what is that goal your protagonist has? Um, and it's based on your story idea. So here's a sentence for Gorky Park by Martin Cruz Smith. I, it's a really wonderful novel. Uh, a Moscow homicide detective investigates a bizarre triple murder and runs afoul of the KGB and FBI. 
So what you want to do is write your story sentence in 25 to 30 words. It's really short. It's really concise. Um, and leave out character names, subplots, any other details. What you're doing is constructing the core of your story. And once you formulate that base sentence, everything in your story stems from and relates to that story seed. You may think you know your story and have no need to write a base sentence. If so, you should be able to write the sentence in less than a minute. So go ahead, write the sentence. All right, write it down as a reference point and then save this sentence as your story guide. And as you write, you can check that each scene relates to this base story idea. I'm going to I'm going to say it again. In a setting, a protagonist has a problem caused by an antagonist and faces conflict as they try to achieve a goal. All right. So, setting, protagonist, problem, antagonist, conflict, and goal. Those are the six things you need to know to write that sentence. So if you think you have your story idea clear in your head, go ahead, write it right now. Otherwise, there's missing pieces and you need to put those in place before you write your story. So once you have your story, story idea sentence, you can go ahead and start expanding. Um, so a good story will start with um, the exposition, the status quo at the start of your story. And then there's the first plot point, what major event kicks off the story, the major problem for the protagonist. There's the midpoint where things take a turn from the worst and everything is re-examined. And there's the second plot point where your sleuth hits rock bottom and starts turning things around. And finally, there's the climax and denouement and how the, your story resolves. So, um, you can go ahead and write a short sentence for each one of those parts of your story. So, using this formula, you, in, you can easily expand your sentence into a full paragraph. And it's worth putting time into getting this summary right. You can always come back to revise it if things change. But having these plot signposts in place will help guide you for the next part of planning your novel. Um, so once you have those five sentences in place and you put them all into a paragraph, you want to start working on uh, getting things ready for your story. So, first of all, you want to populate your story. You've got a huge cast of characters. Who's there? What they're doing? All of that. And once again, being organized, you're going to have them all in one place, which is um, commonly called the story bible. Um, you list all the characters in your novel. Every single character. And you start with your protagonist and antagonist, and then add all the supporting characters. And for mystery writers, you're going to be um, adding your suspects and um, figuring out how they can confound your sleuth protagonist. Um, I'm trying to think of everything I want to say here. So you want to give each character, especially your main characters and your supporting characters, a rich background in your story bible um they need a distinguishing characteristic a mannerism a style of speech a physical detail and that detail helps your reader recall a character they last met 50 or 100 pages ago it's just like a little memoir aid memoir for your reader and personality traits you want because they humanize your characters Readers recognize personalities, and that recognition helps them understand your characters. Um, I was watching a Polish film the other day, and 
I was just amazed at how there was a really horrendous villain and um and there was um a susceptible woman and there was the protagonist was a fraught um a fraught journalist for a newspaper and like you know this has all the right characters to fit together to make this story uh have an emotional impact i was really struck by that um so you want to do that um so for the character background some people use a uh, meyer briggs type for each one of their main characters because each type has a set of personality traits so it's pretty easy to figure that out um Writers can build from those traits, especially character reactions when under pressure, which is one of the things that Meyer Briggs does list. How does this character, how does this personality type behave when they're under pressure in conflict and you want to have lots of conflict in your story? Uh, and of course you want your story world, wherever it is, the past, present, future, um, you want the details you want details about the culture and the geography um and the more you get into that i have a research i have a character bible and a research folder and i get all the background details in there and that includes anything you might be using um things that you might be using in your story like weapons um so you have a good sense of that so you're gathering a lot of information um one of the tricks especially for beginning writers is you gather all this information and while you're gathering it helps you know and understand what's going to be happening in your story but realize that only about 20 percent of all the research that you do actually ends up in your story but you need that rich background material because as you're writing your story, you need to know which one of those research details that you found actually fits in that particular scene. All right. Um, some writers take it a step further and actually write a synopsis of the whole story before they write. Um, it's it's written in prose uh, it covers the major story points and this way the author has a general idea of the story plot points and the synopsis can vary in length from 10 to 50 pages it's your choice how much detail you want to put in it and um, uh, how long it's going to be the exercise of writing the synopsis fixes the overall story in your head so you can attend to scene details while you're writing you, you know where the story is going you just need to write the scene and give it rich details um, because you know as the author what comes next and where the story is going um, in, in my opinion writing a synopsis is optional if you've done that basic planning and you have all your characters and you have all your research um, and, and you have a, a plan for your novel um, you can probably start writing it's it's up to you some people want to get that whole story in their head before they start talking so that's from the little tiny story idea to the synopsis and all the steps in between and I hope that helps you someone in uh, a killer mystery class was having trouble deciding on what she wanted to write her story about and um and she had she had various ideas that she want to go to this period in time and did she want um this particular character and then i suggested that she really get a good idea of her story before she started filling in all those other details because the story is the core the story is why your reader is there uh, telling the story is how you deliver it 
to to your reader but you really need that core story idea it doesn't matter what it is um, that kicks off that story idea but now you have a kind of overview of how to work from that story idea that pops into your head at, in the middle of the night um, to getting a plan to write your story all right i hope that helps and i want to thank audible for being a sponsor of write a killer mystery um listening to stories is just a fabulous way to emerge yourself in stories and you know as a writer the more you read in your genre the better the understanding you have and so i highly encourage you to check it out there's a link in the description below for a 30-day free free trial so go ahead give it a try and meanwhile keep writing